Hey everyone! So, I'm coming to you today because I want to talk to you about a few techniques um, about how to wear this month's kudos. And if you haven't seen it yet, don't worry, I'm going to talk you through it. So, as you know, we've been um, in business now five whole years. Five whole glorious years of Unique. And they've launched an anniversary palette. Now, I don't have that just now. Shipping has updated. It should be with me on Monday or Tuesday. So, I will be coming live with that but it's a palette full of sparkle it's got glitter shadows and everything you need for those festive looks in there but what i wanted to do today is come and just talk about a few of the techniques about how to wear this palette because nailing these techniques is going to guarantee your festive party looks just look on point so um, i'm going to, have to mix and match um today across a few palettes <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, just to be able to show you. But first of all, what you're going to get, you're going to get the anniversary palette. So it's like this, but it's purple, it's glittery, and it's got the new glitter shadows in it. You're going to get a splurge cream eyeshadow of your choice. Now this is important, and I will talk you through about why your choice of that is important and show you a few differences. You're going to get the amazing cream shadow brush, which is key for creating these festive party looks and a lipstick, um, one of our moisturising lipsticks of your choice as well. So, let's get started. First of all, there's two different ways you can wear this. You can go for the dramatic smoky eye look um, with that pop of glitter. And the reason um, we talk about smoky eye with this is because if you think about chrome nail varnish, and I don't know if you've ever had chrome nail varnish put on before, but they paint your nails black beforehand and then they go in with the chrome. And that's because it's going to act as a base to really make that chrome pop. And that's the same with these glitter um, eyeshadows. For them to really, really pop, you need a dark, dark base, which is why we talk about doing a smoky eye, because it just teams perfectly. Um, so you can use a black. Um, it is really, really good with a black. Or you could just use any dark matte cream eyeshadow. So I'm going to show you um, one using Unapologetic, which is our dark burnt orange colour because um, it goes in my outfit today. Um, but you can, obviously, if you want a lighter, more day wear look, you can put it under, um, you can use a, a lighter base. So, totally up to you. You let me know what you want. Would you prefer a darker base or a lighter base? So, while you're just focusing on that, I will talk to you about the others. So, I'm going to use palette number five to demonstrate this technique on today, because this is our shimmer palette. It's got all those beautiful shimmer colours, and I'm going to have to use a couple of colours from the other palettes. You will see me switch between the palettes, but this palette in the Kudos um, has everything you need to create the look in one palette, but like I said, I haven't got it yet. So, don't know if many of you are on yet, so I'm just going to go in. I'm going to show you, maybe I'll do both eyes. So one eye I'll do the darker, smoky look, and the other eye I'll do um, a lighter, more day look for you. So I'm using this Splurge Cream Shadow in Unapologetic. Um, it's a beautiful burnt orange colour, and... It's one of our matte ones. So we've got matte and shimmer. Hi, Amy. Just talking about this month's kudos. Um, if you haven't grabbed people, if you haven't grabbed your kudos yet, um, drop a little hashtag kudos below. And what I'll do after is I'll drop you a message and we can help you pick shades and things like that. So you want to load your brush up with some cream eyeshadow and you want to pat it into your eye. You don't want to be dragging this. So I'm going to start down here on my lash line and just pat it in because you want a really, really good base of this. I'm going to take it up towards the crease. Just got a little bit more product. You can barely hear me. Is it the washing machine in the background? Let me just bring the camera a little closer because then you should be able to hear me on my mic. Can you hear me better, Amy? Um, I don't think my speaker's covered. Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me a bit better. If not, I'll go and quickly switch the washing machine off. So, yeah, we just want to pat it in, taking it up to the crease of your eye. Now, you really want to make sure you've got a really good base of the cream eyeshadow. And the cream brush that you get with this Kudos is a lot, oh, it's a lot better than other brushes to be able to do that. So just take that up, just slightly over the crease, and you'll see why in a minute. So... Once we've done that, we need to then grab a uh, shimmer colour. Now, normally, obviously, on the palettes, they glitter. So it's a slightly different product. It's going to give a slightly different finish. Um, but I'm going to use my angle and sponge brush. And I'm going to go in with this orangey colour, Vintage. It's a beautiful, beautiful colour. 
you want to get a lot of product onto your sponge brush don't be afraid to really pack it on you know we're going for the dramatic looks I've got quite a bit on there and you want to pat it over can you see that now this is a shimmer like I said so it is giving a slightly different result um, than the glitter will the glitters are going to be a lot more poppy all over you really want to just cover the whole lid so whatever you've put the cream shadow you want to be popping that glitter so you've got your base remember the chrome nails this is like the chrome bit going on top this is going to add that shimmer that shine and with the glitter obviously it's going to offer a lot of glitter now what we need to do now is to um normalize the eye so in the palette you've got a gorgeous gorgeous transition shade i think it's called unashamed um it's a beautiful like dark ready browny color and it's a great great transition shade um the closest i've got to it is in palette number just one yeah number one and that's the chipper shade so i'm going to use that and um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my deluxe brush for this it's a big big fluffy brush and great little technique so you just want to drag it down once tap it out and hold it quite near to the end because that way you're putting less pressure and then you want to use this as a transition shade you can just go in and this will just blend it up tap your brush every time you go in to pick some more product up she's just going to take away that harsh line and really help create that smoky look you just want to keep blending it out. Can you see? So I'm doing this just over the crease and over the line of where that cream shadow ended. Perfect. I'm just going to take that little bit of excess off that's brushed up there. And just grab the wipe. Sometimes you get a little bit of fallout, I always do, just here, but that's fine, you can just wipe that out with a wipe, that's not a problem, and then just carry on blending. You really want to focus on the outside of your eye when you're doing this. Perfect, now also in the palette, um, you're going to get what we call highlighter shade, um, again, I haven't got the palette like I keep saying, but I'm going to use the closest thing I've got to it, which is this tender shade in palette number four, it's a beautiful, beautiful pear lesson, and for this I'm going to use the angle shade of that sponge brush that I used earlier, so just grab a little bit of that product, and you want to dab it into the corner of your eye, just to brighten, this is going to take away that being punched in the eye look when you're doing your smoky eye. Brush that into the corner here, and you want to put it onto your brow bone, up here. Because this is a, like a pearlescent shade, you can really pack this on because it's iridescent. So it's just going to give that little bit of highlight and take some of the darkness away from the corner of your eye. So now what I want to do is bring the um, shimmer shade, so the glitter shade, if we were using the kudos, underneath my eye but without any cream shadow underneath so I'm going to use the um, cream shadow brush that I used um, just to get a really good line with this you can just put it on the tip and bring it in under the bottom like so now can you see the difference in the colours by having that dark base underneath just how that's really really smoked that up there you are. So this is why it's so important to choose a colour for that you want to bring out. So if you like blues, choose a blue. If you like purples, choose a purple. If you love a smoky eye, go for a dark black or a dark smoky orange. If you like a light shade, which I'm going to show you in a second, then obviously get one of the lighter splurges. If you're not sure, it's okay. You can drop me a message, put the hashtag kudos down there, and I'll drop you a message after, and I'll help you pick some shades. So this time I'm going to do a slightly lighter look then, and I'm going to use um, one of our shimmer ones so this is a, a shimmer splurge this is going to give you a really really fresh look and i'm using the shade dreamy which is a beautiful like iridescent silvery color so again we want to pack it off starting out the lash line and really building it up now i'm going to use the same eyeshadow over the top 
as I used before to just to show you the difference and the importance of choosing the colour you want underneath and the same transition shade. So everything's going to be the same apart from the base colour. So really pack that in, just bring it out a bit. Okay, this is going to be a beautiful, beautiful day look. So once again, we're grabbing the sponge brush. We're going to grab that vintage shade, that burnt orangey colour that we had in the palette. And we're going to tap it over the top. Can you see the difference in that already? Now, obviously, remember these are shimmers I'm putting on. The glitter's going to be a lot more poppy. So it's going to be perfect for those festive looks. Just keep patting that over. So we're still going to use the transition shade. Um, again, I'm going to use chipper, but in the palette you get that on a shame shade, which is perfect for these looks. Let's just go in. Just to normalise the eye that side. Remember, holding your brush nearer the end means you're putting less pressure on, which is really going to help smoke it out. So what are people preferring? Do you prefer like the darker smoky eye or do you prefer like this lighter day wear one? What's your preferences? And then I need to grab my angle shadow brush again and I'm just going to go in with that um, tender shade which is that highlighter again into the corner and up onto the brow bone. Just dust that in the corner of the eye and up onto your brow bone. Can you see the difference in them? And then finally, grabbing that shadow brush, I just want to bring a little bit of the shimmer shade. So confusing going between palettes. This is why I'm so glad they brought out a palette where it's all in one. Put that underneath as well. That really just ties in your whole eye look by dusting a little bit of the colour, the shimmer or the glitter underneath. It really ties in. So you can see two completely different looks just by changing the base colour. So this is why you get a choice um, of what base colour you would like to order with this kudos. Um, I am going to quickly go in with my dip and draw eyeliner because I really want to just make these pop with a little bit of an eyeliner. I'm not going to do huge wings on this though. So we just come in, I'm going to have to look in the mirror for this though. From the bottom left line, dragging that up and then just fill it in. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. Now I don't take my liner all the way into the corner of my eye because I like to have that highlighted look in the middle, but I do like to just accentuate my lash line slightly. One side always gets better. And I just love how this dip and draw liner literally goes over anything. You know, you think I've got cream powder, um, cream shadow and powder shadow, and it's come out absolutely flawless. Right, lipstick then. So you do get a choice of lipsticks. You can go for a bold red, a purple, a brown, or you can keep it more nude. For me, I like to keep it nude when I'm doing a lot of drama on my eyes. And this shade, well, um, not what's it, upper class, is a really, really cool shade because it's the sort of shade that anybody can wear. It's great for day wear and really makes your lips pop at night. So I'm just going to pop that on. And it's one of those shades that just suits everybody. Every skin tone, don't matter if you've got big lips or little lips, this shade really does rock. And it's got a little tinge of colour, so you can wear it during the day. But it's really, really nice when you've got a dramatic eye to be able to wear that in the evening as well. Like I said, you do get a shade, um, a choice of the shade of lipsticks as well. So if you're not sure of what lipsticks to go with the eye colours that you're ordering, or you want a Christmas look, but you don't know what to order, drop the little hashtag kudos below, or drop me a message, and we can hook you up. So finally, going to go in with the Epic Mascara, finish these looks off, and then um, that will be the looks done. So... Epic Bizarre, let me just grab, just brush my lashes out just to make sure there's no excess powder or anything like that on them from doing the eye looks. So 
you don't want powder underneath when you're putting your mascara on. I believe the fallout's gone onto the lashes, this will just clear it off. Perfect. So, quick slick of the Epic Mascara. Really catches and separates my lashes, this mascara. And a good mascara really does set off your makeup looks. Just look how dram more dramatic that looks with your lashes on. Now, if you want to go full drama, obviously you can go for the Totally Pumped duo on your lashes because um, it's just the daytime I'm just going to keep Epic on now this kudos at the moment so that's the new anniversary glitter palette with the transition shade and that highlighter shade the cream shadow brush your choice of um, splurge cream eyeshadow which is that base that we were using and your choice of lipstick has a 26% saving at the moment. So huge, huge savings. It's only for November or while stocks last. I think it's going to be more while stocks last because it is selling fast. But yeah, drop me a message and we can hook you up with the right shades for you. Just send me a picture of the outfit you're planning to wear for your Christmas party and I can help you pick shades that way if you prefer. But it's all about picking the colours that you want to accentuate. So if you love purples, go for a purple base. If you love blues, go for a blue base. If you love the smoky, get a dark shade. Me, I love the burnt orangey colours and the silver. So that's why I did the silver in dreamy and the matte uh, orangey shade in unapologetic. There we are. So two very different looks using the same technique, same products, just a different base colour underneath. So thank you everyone for joining me. Um, if you've got any questions about the kudos, do drop me a message. Um, it's a huge saving, huge, huge products this month. And the Glitter Shadow Palette, I cannot wait to come live with you uh, next week to be able to show you as soon as it arrives. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.